Keith Murray, the most beautifulest thing in this world. It's been a while. Welcome to It's Been A While, I'm Free Tillman, and this is a series where I talk about albums that I loved as a kid, but for whatever reason, I stopped listening to them. And today, we're talking about Keith Murray's debut album, The Most Beautifulest Thing In This World. I was and still am a fan of Redman, so anything Redman related, I was in. I really didn't even become an EPMD fan until Redman joined the Hit Squad in 1990. So when I saw Death Squad had a new recruit, I took notice. I first heard him on the song Hostile from Eric Sermon's debut album, No Pressure, and his verse in that song was so unhinged, it's hard to not notice him. He exudes such a manic energy that at first it's hard to know what to make of him. He creates his own words, and every time you think you know where he's going, he goes left, like literally. His verse starts out, Keith Murray, coming from the north, south, east, and left. And he says everything with such confidence that even when he doesn't make sense, still makes sense. Some people don't like this about him, but for me, it made it all the more intriguing. And on a personal level, Keith Murray was always a person that I rooted for because, and maybe I'm projecting, but you could tell by his demeanor that this was a guy that wasn't smoking weed just to get high. It seemed like he was trying to maintain his sanity. I remember liking this album when he came out, but over the years I never went back, so let's see if that was a mistake. This album gets off to a slow start with Keith sounding a little like Redman if he were even more unhinged than usual on Psychosomatic and with the production on Dip Dip Die being a little lackadaisical. In my opinion, this album doesn't actually start until the most beautifulest thing in this world and Herb is pumping. These songs are everything you want from a Keith Murray track. Crazy unhinged bars, metaphors that hardly make sense, and a complete disrespect for how words are supposed to work in the best way possible. Straight Looney finds Eric Sermon and Keith Murray doing their best Onik impression, and Jamal is the only one on this track that doesn't sound like he's swagger jacking, but Eric's over the top ad libs over Jamal's verse almost derailed the track. Having said that, I still like this song a lot. Danger is a pretty straightforward banger, but Get Lifted is one of the most underrated weed anthems ever. As God is my witness, with the sickness of a cannibalist cannabis, I float like a cumulus? The song How's That shows off the unique chemistry of the Death Squad. Eric Sermon has always had really off the wall metaphors, Redman has lyrical dexterity, and Keith Murray has equal parts of each. They truly are a supergroup. Unfortunately, this album drops off pretty hard after this. Take It To The Streets features his Legion of Doom crew, Ron J and 50 Grand, who are fine, but nothing really mind blowing is happening. Bomba Z seems like a random excuse to put Hurricane G on the track, and Escapism is a pretty weak story rap about smoking weed with Martians. And the album ends with a remix of the title track that isn't different enough to really be worth it. I get why I liked it. There are definitely songs on here worth revisiting. I did remember that I didn't care for the first few tracks, but I forgot the tracks at the end of this album. But all in all, it was a fun listen. So when's the last time you heard the most beautifulest thing in this world? Are you still bumping it to this day? I'm gonna keep talking about albums until I run out. Until then, I am free to me, the only guy on the internet that doesn't know everything.